Tony Hinchcliffe. There's a backpack here. Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. How exciting. Another fun Monday. We're here. It's episode 39 of Kill Tony, everybody. That's what's happening. Yeah. So much fun stuff. We're going to <clears throat> La Jolla this weekend. Yeah. That's exciting. That's We're taking it on the road for the first time ever. This guy, actually, I just read this Facebook. He's like, hey, I see that you're in La Jolla for the weekend. If you want... You can stay in my sailboat. I, it, it, it holds four people. I'm not using it. It's right on the water. And then I was like, oh, who's this guy? And then he's like, oh, he's a private investigator. Now I'm thinking, like, oh, he's just hiding cameras in his boat so he can watch me fuck or something. What should I Maybe. do? I think you should take him up on the offer. Really? If he's a private investigator, it's good to have a guy like that on your side. That's true. If you turn him down, then he might start. I mean, if he's a private investigator, then he can already look through your windows. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. You, you want to keep him close. And then this way you have a private investigator in San Diego where you might need it sometime. That's true. That's Should we talk about the other possible thing, Sandy? Sandy? San Diego? Oh, the, is that? Yeah, I think we already said that. But uh, Comic Con 2014 will be at the American Comedy Company for two shows and another Kill Tony. So San Diego is getting all the Kill yeah. Tony love right now. Yeah. yeah Comic Con. Comic Con 2014. That's a pretty big announcement, and right? And I'm thinking that, that last year, I mean, we've been there for the last two years, Death Squad has. And last year, there were so many people dressed up as Iron Man, like with like, like the missile rocket launchers and stuff like that. So if you know anybody, anyone that's listening that goes to Comic-Con that has an Iron Man costume and wants to join Kill Tony. The Army. I, yeah. I would, We're going to have an army, army of, of Iron Men. That would be so great, right? Uh, and if not, maybe a couple fans. You can get uh, tickets to Vancouver yeah. and Seattle and Portland. Right now at DeathSquad.tv. All tickets went on sale. We're going to be in Vancouver for 420 and we're playing a casino. And it holds 300 people. It's this humongous fucking like ha, crazy ha, thing. We get to do that. <laughs> um, and uh, speaking of the Iron Man and uh, our always, you know, the I Iron Patriot left us about a month ago. And every week we uh, have been replacing the Patriot with a different type of Patriot. Uh, we've gone through, you know, the Iron Gatriot, yeah. Justin Martindale, the, the Dark Patriot, Willie Hunter, El Patrioto, Jesus Trejo was last week. And uh, we're going to keep the diversity going. Yeah. Uh, tonight, we would like to introduce to you right now our first ever female patriot, everybody. It's the Iron Hot Chick. Oh. <laughs> Boom. That's right. Josh, get on it. Yeah, grabbing their boobs already. There you go. Fi Josh, fix the mic. He's, he's nervous around her. Oh, amateurs. There you go. He's, he's so <laughs> nervous around a female patriot. Look at that. Oh. Damn. Josh, come on. Josh, get on it. Now, is it the Iron Patriot or the Iron Sex Pot? Thank Bot. you. What, what could it be? Is it? What is it? I think it's... It's all of them? Oh. Fuck yeah. This, she, she, you can call her anything you want, people. That's how open-minded the female patriot is. Thank you. She just farted. Wow, Wait. those are some interesting sound effects. Thank you. Um, I'm patriotic. I love it. Well, you look fantastic. It's so nice to have a, uh, a little bit of female energy over there rather than the creep. Turn the fucking mic up. Turn it up, guys. <laughs> right? That's what this means. Put your hands together for uh, the running around producer of the show, Josh Martin. Perhaps the worst producer in the history of anything ever. Yeah. All right. He's he's truly really unliked around the comedy store, and we decided to we decided to give him a shot, let him run around and work things here. And he just spills drinks when he drops them off. He fucking set a, her up for failure. Um, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let me ask you something, uh, Lady Patriot. Um, did you uh? I heard a rumor that you sent a song in. That was something that the Iron Patriot would uh, normally do, and he would yeah, sing. It, yeah, I wrote it myself. All that jazz. Yeah. Awesome. And this is actually a song that I've seen uh, her do before, and I, I love it. So this is going to be a treat. Yay! What's this song called? Malcolm Malfucking. 
mouth on mouth. Ladies fucking. and gentlemen, we present to you the Lady Patriot. Let's see if this works. And it doesn't. Uh, the, the internet here at the comedy store, by the way, uh, is getting fixed, I heard. I, no, they don't. They have dial up here still, I think, like that. But here, you, here we go. Put your hands together for the female patriot, everyone. Come on, representing all women. Who said that they can't be a security guard for a podcast? That's a woman. Josh, are you gonna are you gonna boom mic this shit, Josh? Yeah, awesome. guys, give it up. That is unbelievable. I love how the uh, I love how the voice that she's singing over in that sounds more robotic than the actual voice yeah, that's coming through the voice box. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, that was awesome. So uh, fuck yeah. What do you guys say that we uh, get this thing going? We have our new head of security for tonight, the Iron Lady Patriot chick. <laughs> Iron sex bot. <laughs> Whoa. Fuck yeah, she's a wild one. <laughs> so let's get into it. You guys know what happens. Uh, a bunch of comedians sign up. Me and uh, always two guests uh, talk to them afterwards. And uh, this week's no different. I have two. This is both of their, I believe it's both of their third times on the show. They are two of truly the best guests to have on this. Two of the funniest pals that I have. Put your hands together for Rick Ingram and Kevin Christie, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies They're back. back. Buddy. How's it going? Good, Good to see, see you. Guys. Good to see you. <laughs> you can smell the boners up here. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it is boner central, man. <laughs> For anybody with a robot uh, fetish, uh, it's going down tonight. Also just women, if you're into women. Right, that too. Or, or Jerry's and Laney's. <laughs> Jerry and Laney are here. Put your hands together for Jerry and Laney, everybody. Nice. The uh, I got married to that beautiful lady on this very stage about <laughs> seven years ago. Wow. And uh, Jerry obviously was uh, the maid of honor or whatever. <laughs> was that during a ding-dong show? Yep, during a ding-dong show. And uh, I think Jerry ended up registering as a sex offender by the end of the night. Very Fuck, weird, yeah. as always. <laughs> uh, so it's so fun to have you guys back. I know that uh, I don't think... I guess you've both been on. Well, it's been a two-person format. What do you guys think of the Iron Patri or Lady Patriot? She's way better, way better yeah. than the original. Way better. Yeah, the Iron, the original Iron Patriot just scared me. He just I, bummed me out and frightened me and was racist. Yeah, <laughs> it was very creepy how racist he was. Yeah. I guess Doug Benson had a uh, live show last week mm -hmm. and he showed up and they wouldn't let him in. Was he dressed as Iron Patriot? Yeah. yeah. And he was like, I'm supposed to be on the show. How weird, and they like, didn't let him in. <laughs> it seems like they're making good decisions over there. Hey, there's there. a giant trash can screaming by the door. Do you want, do you want us to come in? Is it cool? No. no well, I actually, I actually heard, and this is really funny. I don't know if I even told you this part, but somebody tweeted at me that the reason why they really wouldn't let him in was because there's no standing room. It's a seat-only theater, and he can't sit down in that suit. It's a fire hazard. Yeah. He's like an upright speed bump. He's just gonna yeah, what would people happen down. if there was a fire? Like, if there was a fire here when he was here, there would he'd, he'd be dead. There'd be no way. He'd just for be him yelling, to "Someone carry me!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and the other problem would be all of us throwing him directly into the fire, <laughs> <laughs> which would be my first instinct. Yeah, I'd risk my own life, you know. Lady Patriot, do you have any questions for our guests? That was something that the original yeah. Iron Patriot always did. Hey, boys. 
<laughs> I was just wondering, Rick. Yeah. I listen to your podcast. You do it for the county store, right? County store podcast. Yeah, I mean, we haven't done one in about nine months, but yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you're an avid listener. Thank you. I admire it. Okay. I was just wondering, what's it like now that you're married? Does that affect your comedy? Um, Ooh, that's true. interesting Just question. Not, uh, not sure at all what that has to do with the Comedy Store podcast. <laughs> but um, no, I mean, my, my comedy is me talking to people in the crowd. So as long as my wife doesn't sit there, it doesn't generally come up, I suppose. But yeah, yeah. good question. How about that? How about that for Kevin? So you also have a podcast. I do. I do. Okay. She's good with starts. <laughs> She's exactly like the old Patriot. She's like a rabbit. Right. Quick so in the beginning. You got a podcast, right, with Nick, uh, Nick Youssef. Hey. Yeah. And it's really good. Is she what? Canadian? Yeah. You like it? Is it fun? Good times? <laughs> <laughs> All those things. You nailed it. It's it 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 like it, good, and good times. Yes. I, I mean, mm -hmm. that was the best question that the Patriot has ever asked. Yeah. Do you like that? So you like, do you like things and stuff? Yeah, I feel like yeah. I feel like we know why Pierce Morgan is not getting renewed because <laughs> we got a new interviewer in the yeah. house, yeah. nailing it. Is the is uh, the Iron and Sex Bot uh, wearing underwear? What? Yeah, I have underwear on. Is it patriotic? Definitely. Can we see it? You want to see my patriotic underwear? <laughs> Get on stage and do it. How Brian has this kind of uh, how think, Brian pulls this shit off? I have that no idea. That happened so fast, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, well done. Yeah. Zero to creep. Or not well done. <laughs> oh wow. wow! Same underwear the Iron Patriot wore. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. They fit everyone. One size fits all. America. Beautiful. America. America. And I have because I love pussy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Boom. You have a full bush? Uh, I, just a full bush. Yeah, like a woman. Wow. It's <laughs> a valid, that is very valid. Actually, like a woman. You're right. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's valid. I haven't seen one in a while. Can you show us? Oh, my God. Brian. <laughs> Brian. All right, let's get this thing Not started. Not me. Not while I'm here. Now that it's everybody has do. red, white, and blue balls. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. That's you good. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of people signed up. You guys know what goes on. Comedians get one minute of stage time. They know that their minute's up when they hear the sound of a kitty. <laughs> wow. I mean, the whole production has really gone to shit since it's last really time I was here. Top shelf. Way, Top more, shelf. way more bush, which is good. But. Top shelf. <laughs> People used to try sometimes and everything, but uh, uh, you'll hear the sound of a kitty. And then uh, you don't want to run that light. That, that means that's your time, because if you go much longer than that, you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> It just sounds like wind. There you go. Like you say it of, sounds like an episode of Wings? Just like, no, like a, oh. just a lot of wind. An episode of wind. God, I wish it sounded like an episode of Wings. I, I feel like if you go over, you should play an episode of Wings as punishment. <laughs> What's Wings? Is that, is that an old show? show? It was the is that Tony on, like, USA? Yeah, it was the terrible show that uh, the writers from Cheers were like, hey, yeah. we can just take this concept and Hayden put it in Church as a mechanic. Nantucket. Yeah, it was about a small airline. Airport. Wow. Yep. C listen, it was classic comedy. It was, it was on USA, though, show. right? Yeah. Why do I feel yeah, like they it was showed on repeats USA. on USA? Uh, Crystal I Bernard was, was on it, I believe. All right, that fat guy. Yeah, that fat with the guy. mustache. Uh -huh. That's always a winning recipe. If you're fat, you gotta have a mustache. Your first comedian tonight, everybody, doing a minute of stage time is Jake Beckman. Everyone. <laughs> 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 Almost there! Jake. I will not take a shower in a room that smells like shit, mainly because I don't want to breathe in those poop particles that are responsible for the smell of shit. There's just a contradicting feeling that you get when you see a toilet right next to a shower. They don't mesh. It gets people to take a shit and then have a really hot and steamy shower afterwards, and I'm sure that some people skip wiping, and they wash out their leftover poo in the shower. All in all, I find this to be a hygienic dilemma. The smell of shit mixed in with the shampoo you just used just doesn't mesh. 
If you took a really big and really mossy turd and then right afterwards you had a really hot and steamy shower, those airborne poop particles that are responsible for the smell of shit will mix in with the steam and it will soak into your walls and your skin. And that is why you will have a random instance later that day when you smell shit but you don't know where it's coming from. Worst of all, it's coming from, from you and you are your last suspect because you showered. Wow. Huh. How much actual time was that? Uh, that was 40, about 40 seconds. Okay, okay. It showed up as 58 on, I downloaded it on iTunes and all that. I recorded it, got it on iTunes, and it showed up as 58 seconds. So it was somewhere in the time range. It, it reminded me of a hybrid of Spicoli from Fast Times at Ridgemont High yes. and the Micro Machines yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> actually, yes. actually, have you seen one of those videos on the, on the internet where it shows a guy just drawing really fast, like, like, and trying to sell you something? Like, this is yeah. how, you know, like, stomach acid works, and then yeah. it, that's what your voice sounds exactly yeah, right. Yeah, it feels it's like you're crazy. gonna get hired as the guy that says the stuff really fast at the end of radio commercials. Yeah, it was you were the it. you were the legal know. ramifications of leasing a Toyota? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Must be 21, 18 and over. Yeah. 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 Were just, you nervous? Do you usually I, speak with this quick of a pace, or are you just no, trying I was to just work trying it to in? The time frame. You didn't want to hear the bear. No, right. I didn't. I, I mean, be, I, at some I point, I was respectful. impressed with the memorization. Thank you. Because you were going much. fucking fast, and you obviously wrote, it's obviously written like it wasn't. Yeah. But I, I thought to myself, I the, the the crowd's missing a lot of this. I right. know. I know. Yeah, it's it's I'd probably better. I'd catch the moments way better if I just you know. And it and time. it just delivery wise, it stayed the same the entire time. <laughs> it was just like you started and then just like went the entire time and then stopped. So it was hard as listening to tell which parts you have decided were more important for me to listen to. Indeed, indeed. But you, and you also have like very definitive surfer stoner. Yes. Kind of cadence, oh, right. which I have never heard spoken that. Yeah, I've never before. heard that fast That's awesome. ever. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah, I mean, good I was thing. like, good thing. you've been smoking pot all day, and right before you got on stage, you were like, "Time to do a bump. Let's do this." <laughs> like, I'm gonna be like, kind of slow. Do a little crystal and <laughs> yeah. fucking get up there and knock this thing out. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not. I, I think what Rick's saying is like, I don't don't like completely lose your ability to go fast there's something kind of odd about it especially con with the way you talk yeah nice, like the nice. fact you could be the only motivated stoner of all time yeah <laughs> that's how it is that's how it yeah. is uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah i got weed to grow like you're freaking yeah. out <laughs> I like, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> so back to right now yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, you're like, whoa i guess yeah. that's what smoking weed for eight years will do for you okay Hell yeah. okay uh, look <laughs> wow, look at that. Great. She is already, already great. Already, already great. better than already the original fantastic. Patriot. Yeah, so good. We saw her underwear. She just did that. I mean, <laughs> time to be a good night yeah. so far. Good night. But uh, uh, yeah, I just think you, you, you're kind of you almost wasted a lot of the things you were saying because they went by so fast. Just, psh, yeah. You, you defy the stereotype of Jake's though, which I like. Good. What <laughs> yeah. is the stereotype? Well, what most the Jake's just in general, what you did right then, the way yeah. you said, "What is what? the stereotype? Yeah. What is the stereotype? What the fuck?" Generally, yeah. Jake's are. Are, you know, pretty close to retarded in oh. general. Like no one ever is like, dude, my buddy Jake is the smartest. Yeah, he's a fucking two and a half men, wasn't it? You gotta but beat my buddy Jake him. the scientist. That's yeah, this... not a thing that happens. Oh my god. Jake Ryan though, sixteen candles, good dude. Great dude. Great dude. It's because Solid of that dude. fucking Jake and two and a half men, wasn't it? Luckily, because that fucking kid. Luckily, don't don't watch that show. Yeah, good. And I don't in recommend comedy it in general. I wouldn't bring it up. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. I wasn't going to. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, I just moved here about two months ago, and I just where are you from? It. Colorado. Okay. Uh, wow. Well, look, can we discuss what appears to be the baboon heart inside of your uh, <laughs> your chest? There, there's some sort of an uh, elevated. Is that your phone? What is it that you keep in no, that? Oh, no, your no, side right pocket. Here. No, this is just my wallet. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, smart. This is a safe You're at the comedy store. That's smart. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I wanted to climb it, but I'm like, not the worst idea, considering yeah, <laughs> where we are. Good. Yeah. Just leave that there. But yeah. Big Jake. Yeah, man. I got a 42. Minute album on iTunes, and I just thought I'd hit the ground running going into LA. I, in 42 that. minutes, I guarantee you can do 70 minutes of comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You have a yeah. 42 minute comedy album out? Yeah, on iTunes. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. It's the Jake Beckman mindfuck. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right. And wait a second, you've been doing stand up for Man, how long? Man, that is so Jake. Two months. <laughs> wow. When yep. did you put the album out? <laughs> January 5th. <laughs> wait, two. Two months. Hey, yeah. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, so, stop. Yeah. You've been doing comedy for two months and you dropped an album two months ago? Yeah, yeah. 
God, I wow. feel lazy as fuck. Just thought I'd hit the ground running. I and can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Louis C.K. Give it up for him. <laughs> <laughs> new yeah. shit all the time. That's hilarious how fast he put out an album, too. You just must sit at home with piles of cocaine everywhere you go. Just marijuana, dude. That's it. Uh, one thing beside, besides maybe definitely, I, I, I agree with everyone, you definitely need to slow down. I, you blew past so much stuff, I was just trying to figure out what yeah, you were talking about. Yeah, maybe try an indica. Right. Yeah, maybe, yeah, that's what I stick with, man. Yeah, that's all I got. That's and, all I smoke. Like, and uh, poop, par poop particles, though, is a nice touch. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be. Also, don't forget the microphone stand. Just slowly try to put it behind you when you go on stage. Yeah. Cause it's, you're, it's one of those odd things, you. but like, it is okay. distracting. Definitely. People will just stare at it. It's, it's like just these guys are like, it's right it in their sight line, which is a bummer. Yeah. So just get it out of their way. I okay. guarantee you, Thank you're you. the first guy to do a 42-minute album with the mic stand left in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I still gotta get that stage Probably. time experience, man. <laughs> Imagine Pryor live on the Sunset Strip. Yeah, he just right completely leaves that. In front I like of his you. priorities, though. From what he just said, he he said, you know, uh, you gotta get the stage time to learn where you mm. put the mic stand. All those little things. You, you know, don't need the I stage time know. to drop an album. <laughs> right. You don't. You know. Just, just like you know what? Bef before I do this on stage, I'm gonna make an album real quick. <laughs> what's the, what the, I gotta know? What's the album called? Like I gotta okay. be reminded and look into this because I would I I want to just fast cool. forward through it and hear what what is. Don't it? fast forward it. It'll be done <laughs> yeah. quickly. That's the Jake Beckman mind. You'll fuck. think you're fast forwarding through it when it turns on. <laughs> just normal. Slow it down. Yeah. And how do you spell Beckman? B e c k m a n. Is that your Twitter handle too? At Jake Beckman. Or is yeah. that spelled differently? Because you spelled it differently yeah. on this. It's that you signed Beckman in. with M A H N because somebody <laughs> fucking stole it and I had to use the. So H. wait a second. Your actual name is Jake Beckman, but you have the Twitter handle Jake Beckman with an H between the A and the N in man. Yeah, because somebody stole my. Why didn't you see like Jake Beckman? <laughs> oh my comic god, that is the somebody Jake took Beckman it. I've ever heard. The real and Jake you, Beckman. <laughs> somebody <laughs> fucking took it, man. When you say they took it, you mean there's another guy named Jake Beckman? Yeah, yeah, yeah there is. Okay. Yeah. There's this guy, Steve. Or somebody's just fucking yeah, stealing my like, identity. One and of instead two. of Steve just... Davis went with Jake Beckman, so I'm <laughs> fucked. Instead uh, yeah, of adding yeah. a number to your actual name, yeah, you, you just... decided to throw an H in the middle like of your Jake last Beck name. Mon. Make it like German or French, French or something. Mon. Jake just Beck Mon. made your wow. birth certificate a liar. <laughs> hey, do you, want, <laughs> yeah. do you guys want to play a little sample from his... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, why don't we just yeah, hit a random... Uh, <laughs> this All right. is great. Uh, just give me three minutes, we'll, Metal. We'll try legalized cannabis. Uh, just do a little uh, iTunes preview I feel preview like this, this is going to sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh, the solution. Unfortunately, our society no longer practices or promotes common sense anymore, so either a good amount of you won't know what the solution is, or you won't agree with me. This solution can provide our marketplace with more food, medicine, clothes, plastic, Holy, paper, stronger you. timber, or... Well, you're, you're talking slower in it, though. And I was, what I like yeah, about it, I just had, why have an audience? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah. If That's you're going to drop an album and charge 99 cents a track... So Spicoli when you slow it down. I'm just waiting here. Those dudes are fucked! <laughs> <laughs> Why? That was the best one yet in that Why an like echo track? You just make yeah. it sound like you're in a place with less of an audience. Right. No, yeah. again, it's important. First guy to do comedy from space. <laughs> <laughs> no crowd. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. It's primarily just to uh, protect my material and then just also to have something to show to the agents. Jake? Just to show them that I have something established. Jake, so that's what you I said I love to you agents? already, but no one is stealing your material. <laughs> <laughs> Better not. Fuckers. I like that you couldn't help but mouth it as it was playing. Yeah. 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 Like you had this thing along. Zone, I just like... He went Britney Spears on us real <laughs> yeah, quick. Yeah, you were like, perform, perform. <laughs> It's yeah. just encoded into my brain. But you could do that 42 minutes again exactly like that. Is that what you're saying? Probably just as fast as I just did that. Coming up on stage. I can and go! <laughs> yeah, okay. let's see. I'm really picky when it comes to choosing the right job. I was very fortunate. And to stop! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Whoa. Jake. Uh, it, what a first impression yeah, you left man. on us. Yeah. First comedian uh, I've ever seen to drop an album before starting stand-up comedy. I cannot comedy. wait to see where <laughs> the way this leads. Yes. Solid gold. All right. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Jake Appreciate Beckman, it. everybody. Jake Beckman. He's yeah. on Twitter. Jake Beckman. <laughs> at Jake Beckman. Oh, no, it's Jake Beckman. With an H That's between Jake the A Beckman. and the N. Beckman. In Beckman. It's Jake Beckman Town on Twitter for no reason. They they never taught Jake numbers. There's a hidden L in Beckman on Twitter. <laughs> Add Fuck a six yeah. in the middle. Well, here we go. Let's go good, good luck to this person. <laughs> Where's your album next, guy? <laughs> <laughs> Antonio Houston. Oh, Antonio Houston. 
give it up for me because I just found that I graduated for real. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. So I went to go see my grandmother and she's like, wow, you're a whole different person. I like the way you are. You're not a, a nigga anymore. You're a nigga. You're graduated. I was like, wow, grandma, you really feel that way? She was like, yeah. The room doesn't smell like reefer or anything. Everything is, everything's lovely about you. You're, you're, you're just so beautiful now. Who you been hanging with? I said, well, I've been hanging with different people, different crowds. And she was like, yeah, well, you're doing coke now? Because you had to bump up, right? I said, no, I'm not doing coke. Not just yet. She was like, well, you should try it because it's great. I was like, okay, well, I'll take your advice. Thank you. And um, my problem is I try to impress white people too much, you know. If first thing I say, hey, my name's Antonio. I like reading, like long walks, walks and everything. And yeah, I'm not a nigger. I'm not a, I'm not a nigger. I'm just the average black guy out here. And I'm just trying to make a living. Oh, that makes them feel uncomfortable. Fuck, well, yeah. comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 And kudos um, to everybody. What? That's a comedian. What? What did you graduate from? <laughs> From being a nigga. Oh, that was what you graduated yeah, from. Okay. That's what, that's oh, wow. Okay. 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 I remember when I graduated from that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Hell it's yeah. awesome. First, uh, I would lose the hat. I can't see your eyes, and I don't think they could either. Which that's a big. I mean, you use you use your like. At the, least go King Griffey Jr. and turn it around. Yeah, I mean, you just. I feel like you're wasting half your jokes delivery system by having this in shadow. So they just don't get to see. They get to see what you're saying, and they have your cadence, but they lose how you feel about it because they can't see from here up. Okay. And I, you, I don't see any reason for you to have to hide your face, so I just wouldn't hide it. All right. I mean, you have, a, you know, it's, there's no reason to. Unless there is a reason. Yeah, unless you. <laughs> yeah, the reason is I graduated from being a nigga. That's right. There you go. Damn, I like oh, it yeah. better already. <laughs> it's it home is, run uh, derby time. Maybe that could be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, turn the hat around as you tell them and you, gra that you graduated. It is a, uh, th that is a pretty big difference I noticed immediately. You s yeah, like as soon as I saw, like even now with it uh, higher up, you, yeah. I mean like I see your face, like I just get a better sense of you as a person. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just not a fan of hiding this. And again, you know. white people are terrified of black people in shadows. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it really scares them. Yeah. So like now I'm like, oh look, he's, he's nice. I like him. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would definitely explain or write the joke a little different because I, I also had no idea that you were graduating from being an N-word. I, what, I, what word? I, yeah, what, which one you mean? I, oh. Yeah, the oh, Nigeria. Everybody, everybody says it now. It's fine. It's fine. Not it's everybody. It, everybody. That sounds like a trap. This yeah. is like the yeah. whitest panel of all time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. we could get in a lot I, of trouble. Uh, yeah. As an American, I was uncomfortable with the heavy R. It was, I was like, Damn, whoa, <laughs> slow down, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You um, ever fucked a robot woman before? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best sound effect is yeah. the queef, the laser totally. queef yeah. at the end. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, lo I love that you wrote the topic down as crazy as family. Yeah. Um, now, okay. I, I thought it was all right. You, you just know Jake Beckman. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Big question. When's the album coming out? Uh, oh, how long have you been doing stand-up? For about... Two years, on and off, uh -huh. on and on. But I made a commitment this year that I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. This is my A, A, B, and C plan. So I find I found the you want to impress white people part most interesting because you mispronounced Reagan. You were like, I like Regan, <laughs> <laughs> like that. That I don't know if you know that purpose. That's yeah. so funny. Did you say reading? No, he said reading. Or I thought you said Regan, like the like no, President like he Reagan. said long walks, reading. See, you know, if I could have seen your shit. eyes, I would have gotten that exactly. <laughs> That would be a much funnier twist. I'm like a white person. I like long walks, reading Re Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. <laughs> it's it's just like, that's what he thinks it's, white people like. Yeah, like yeah. that's sort of interesting. Like, what are the things you think white people like that are just just wrong enough to be like, what? Well, we don't really love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Whoever told you we all love Ronald Reagan? That's funny. Yeah. Um, and other things that we you do. might think we do. Yeah, no, we re we do. I just we're all can't. Alex P. Keaton in the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When I sign the uh, papers to join the uh, Illuminati. And if you're gonna you. say your grandma loves Coke, I want to know a little bit more about it. Okay. <laughs> like that's just you can't just drop in on me like, wait, what? Nana loves Coke. Like I need to like. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. 
All right. Like that's the great thing about deciding to talk about your family that you've decided is crazy is there's a lot. Mm -hmm. So like each person, it's like each person's a bit as opposed to family as bit. You know, like you can go, you you could stretch everything out. Like your relationship with them, your relationship uh, as a young person, as an older person, you know, with them. Like don't I don't don't try to paint it with such a broad swath of just making it my family's crazy. Because a we've heard a lot of that over the years, and I think it's more interesting, especially. Fucking white people are. We're, we want to know about your family. Like, what's interesting? Well, I want to know about families I that I a family life I didn't experience. Okay. So, like, don't you're kind. I feel kind of like short changed. But you're just like my All family's right. crazy. I'm like, but like how? Definitely. I want. I want to really know why. Expe like, explain yeah. it to me. The grandma on coke is you a great premise. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what does it cause her to do? Is she the only old lady driving fast? Like, what is yeah. it that she makes had, grandma? Did awesome? she get gang banged at doo wops? You know. <laughs> there well, you go. I know of. God damn, oh, no. she's good. It's a great set. Grandmas, grandmas just, go wild too, guys. But also, that's like a generation thing where just age-wise, your grand, my grandma's dead because I'm way older than you. But your grandma probably was alive during when you know the Coke generation. Uh -huh. So it's like grandmas did Coke, and your grandma maybe still does Coke. So, so like that's interesting in and of itself. Whereas that's like probably my, why she used to send my uncle to get condoms. So whatever. Well, These all, are another. Now thing. it sounds like white inbreeding, which I'm into. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sent my uh, my uncle to get condoms. Hmm. Uh, Laney, for you ever her, do coke? For, for her <laughs> uh, just the head. <laughs> um, fuck yeah. Does your grandma really do coke? Did she tell you about it? Or did, did she no, tell you it was great? But I just, as I got older, I just figured out like certain things that happened when I was growing up because I grew up with her. Right. So I just noticed certain things. Gotcha. That'd be funny if your if your grandmother does coke. She probably doesn't like use a CD to snort it off. She probably uses like a record or an <laughs> a track. <laughs> Still has some she bought in '78. Right. Oh, that means it's good. <laughs> right, guys. <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much, Antonio. It's Antonio Houston, everybody. Spirit AG seven 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 on Twitter. Pew. Talking about his crazy Antonio ass Houston. family. Spirit, there must have been a Spirit AG already. Right. <laughs> 776 of them. It's a good name, too. Antonio Houston. And it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds legit. like. It's easy to remember. Oh. Fuck yeah. Adam Driggers. Driggers. Whoa. 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 That's the DR Adam word. Driggers. <laughs> Did you just say it's Drig up? Adam Dr Driggers with a heavy R. Hey, everybody got smartphones? Yeah, yeah. They're tracking us with those, you know that, right? The GPS, they're tracking us. Yeah, I don't care either. But I like to mess with it every now and again. I like to set it from automobile to walking. So every now and again, Google thinks I'm fast as fuck because I'm in my car and I'm like, Zzz. they're like, he's walking, but he's going like super fast. Let's not mess with him. <laughs> Have you guys seen the show Hoarders? Great show, great show. Since you've seen the show Hoarders, have you watched the movie 101 Dalmatians? <laughs> it really changes the way you look at your childhood. <laughs> that couple had deep, deep psychological issues. <laughs> Let's just get one more. Sequel. All right. The sequel was called 102 Dalmatians. <laughs> That's a great joke. <laughs> uh, I used to be married. I'm divorced now. I like to refer to my ex-wife as Plan A. <laughs> Plan A had sex with one of my friends. I was forced to improvise. Plan A turned out to be a real <laughs> Plan There you go. Um, I didn't want that to end. Yeah, I, I didn't want it to end either. Great premises. I good, would, dirty delivery. I really like the, the walking smart. I would change it to super fast to su like a superhero. You're right. Yeah, just like, you know, oh, like that, that, and it gives them more reason to start tracking you. That you're just like, they're afraid, to, they're, now they're afraid you're going to turn on them. Well, thanks for giving me that great idea that I can't use now because people heard you give it no, to no, me. No, 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 you're right though. Rick, I, I have I ever saying. taken a tag from you? Uh, I, I hope so. I definitely have. I take, dude, that is, oh, that yeah, is totally. fucking, I've, I've taken tags from Tony, I've suggested tags to Tony, that is, yeah. Yeah. It, uh, by far, you have to do that. Which is, do don't, don't, to any comic here. Do, do, there's, there's no, no shame in that. Not taking tags is a young man's mistake. Like, don't fucking do that shit. If someone, because I'm not going to use it for anything ever. It's just going to not exist. He anymore. would have to steal your joke yeah, to so use like, that. 
tag. So. And that it's a. I can't. T- I probably. I've taken twenty tags in my life. Like it's not. That's. That's just one of those things that comics do. It's not uh, looked down upon. Don't. Don't make that mistake. So if, I'm not saying you have to take it, but if you like it and you want to use it, take it. It's you know. Absolutely, that's totally a part of this. Yeah. Definitely try it. If it works for you, it's yeah. yours. And uh, the fucking hundred and one cool. Dalmatians hoarders thing is a good angle. Yeah, thank you. I really like that. Uh, what one thing? It's a, a beginner comedian thing that just happens, and by beginner I mean like first five, six years of doing comedy. Is you ask the audience if they have seen or heard something every time you start a joke premise. You can just start the premise because it yeah. doesn't. They don't fucking matter. You can literally just be like that show hoarders. Like if you're in a comic club and they haven't seen hoarders, you're fucked anyways. Yeah. So like if they're like no, you don't want to just stop your joke and you can you're gonna explain within your joke what hoarders is like. I mean, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Don't, yeah, don't engage them if it's not necessary because then you're all, you're begging someone to be like, yeah, I fucking love it, and you're like, uh oh, now you gotta talk to that guy and now you can't tell your joke. So just, you know, like, I watch that show Hoarders. Plus, I, I really did want to hear more of your jokes, and by asking them each time, it took away 25 seconds. Right, yeah. it took off the end of that last one, for sure. Yeah. Um, and, like, everyone yeah. has smartphones. Yeah, they do. Yeah, so, like, you, it's just not necessary. And definitely everybody's seen the other things. Yeah. And if they haven't, then, yeah, well, yeah, you mentioned that. It doesn't matter anyway. How long have you been doing it? Two years. And where are you from? I'm from Florida. I've been here since October. Okay. Nice. You're really good. Yeah, uh, man, I mean, like you, all all of your bits were like like I really don't have much advice except what they've said because I it was comfortable to listen to and I liked your material. So Thanks. you're good. And honestly, it's easy to add a tag to a pretty good bit. Like when when you see like a bit that's not gonna go anywhere, you're like ah maybe maybe it's just uh like you can't. It's easy to like you're only like when you see that there's only like one small thing missing, it's way easier. It's like oh superhero would work better than super fast. I just thought the Word. flash. I'm like, oh fuck, the flash is back. Oh yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, and maybe after you see hoarders, you realize that what's her name, Cruella Deville. Oh yeah. Is more of a, the good guy trying to yeah. break that shit up than <laughs> the villain that she's been painted to be this whole time. Yeah, these two supposedly nice white yuppies that have a thousand dogs for no reason. <laughs> right. House smells like shit. I God, mean, it's got to. Look, house smells like shit. House is made of shit. And yeah. that should totally be in that, too. Now, yeah. Since you're connecting those two things, is I'd spell out the stuff that you don't see <laughs> that you would have to do to support 101 yeah, Dalmatians. Th- yeah, just like, unravel I mean, that film. Like, thank God they didn't be fucking kids. It would have just been slave labor shit shoveling. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. And the trough that yeah. they must be <laughs> eating out of. I mean, there's no yeah, way yeah. each... Do they do they have their own? I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Do they have their own like bowls and shit? I guess <laughs> I it really remember, doesn't man. even matter. I mean, they they left. If out you really want to dissect the, the joke, they only had the dogs for like a day. They were like they weren't really their dogs. <laughs> they didn't all come from the same dog either, did they? No, they, they, would, been they were they were rescuing all the dogs in the city so Cruella uh, Deville couldn't right. kill them. And, right. So. Uh, so why were they all Dalmatians? That had to be some inbred shit. She wanted on. a Dalmatian coat. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm really into this movie. <laughs> Okay. Amen. She's a Amen. beautiful, God. stylish woman. And Every you, woman should have fur. I'm sorry. Don't, yeah. don't ever have a different patriot than this one. Yeah, this is honestly, the one. <laughs> so far, I mean, the winning yeah. patriot. And now, and just out of choo, curiosity, choo, choo. In your, just out of curiosity, is your joke in your head based on the cartoon or the live action film? <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Close. Um, I've never seen the live action, but I guess it would fit more. But live action so, written yeah. by John Hughes. Fun fact. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, I that guy doesn't miss. He wrote Beethoven too. Yes, he did. I really thought he was doing the 101 Dalmatians musical, uh, but I guess I was a little confused. Classic. <laughs> Nothing Singing on that. All right, he made it weird. Um, <laughs> Jeez. Adam Driggers, how fun! Damn. Please sign up again. Your yeah, your one liner yep. style Good and uh, you Thanks. talking so that uh, we could understand every word that you were saying really yep. helped. <laughs> and uh, shame you don't have an album. I yeah. do, but I have a Twitter. <laughs> He's got that, a Twitter. That's absolutely true. Oh, well, look at this. Adam C. Driggers. He that's figured it D- out. R I G G E R S. <laughs> Even if there was another Adam Driggers, you just put that middle initial. Look at you. <laughs> there is. He's oh, a famous he's weightlifter. Damn. He's a famous what? Weightlifter. He's like a world champion weightlifter. Adam Driggers? And he has a Twitter. Driggers. Wow. Wow. I, I actually guy, retweet all of his tweets. I have like a guy every single whose one. name is. There's a Kevin Chris who's a, a famous weightlifter, too. What? We should hang out. I had to go. No. <laughs> I had to go middle initial too. 
And I can tell you two never lift weights. So. <laughs> no. There's no connection with the... Uh, I like how someone thought that was going to hurt my feelings. Right. <laughs> Mugs- oh, Mugzilla over here oh, just making on. the noise Get off him. he should be Push making. up contest. First one to one wins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought it was good. <laughs> definitely, definitely call your first album Drigger, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. It's Adam C. Driggers, everyone. Bam. I liked him. Heck D- yeah. D- I want more of him. DWA Driggers with that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Those are great. One- those are great jokes. <laughs> guy was all class. Straight up. He even had comedy glasses. Yes, he did. You're welcome. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ryan Dune, everybody. <laughs> I hate jogging. I I really do. I hate jogging so much that I'm going to start wearing American flag pants. So if my friends ask me to go, I can just be like, sorry, brother, these colors don't run. America! I'm not lazy, I'm a patriot. Thanks for laughing. Uh, So, uh, guys, I I like to drink, but sometimes I black out. Like I just don't remember anything, and it can be a problem. But I've been beatboxing for 12 years, so I black out and beatbox. It's like, for real, I do that. It's probably very annoying. Um, and I've also been working on this Jay-Z impression, so I black out and beatbox and talk like Jay-Z, and it goes a little something like this. Yo, it's your boy Jay-Z. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I drink more, I start getting a little hungry. Yo. Your boy needs some Chinese food in this piece. <laughs> we got any Chinese food in this piece right quick? Your boy's man hungry! I'm getting horny now. Yo, your boy Hova needs some pussy. All right, your boy needs some pussy. Good night. There you go. Great job, Ryan. Sounds um, like Jay-Z. Yeah, Thank the you. Uh, Jay-Z part I liked. It was everything that's ever existed about beatboxing that I don't like. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Every it's just, it's kind beatbox. of like if this were 1989 and you were Barry Sobel, people would be like, damn, he's beatboxing. But I feel like a lot of people don't even know what that is anymore. And I, I couldn't agree more. I think that the Jay-Z impression is so good, and I don't hear anyone else doing that, that I f- totally feel like the beatbox weighs it down. Yeah, it just kind of got in the. I mean, I I get that you have to like figure out a way to get to the thing, but I, yeah. I it it's it doesn't help, and it okay. feels a little too, like musicy to me. Like it's like, oh, you just think you're good at this, so you want to yeah. show it off a little. Yeah. Which the impression is Party what's going to get you the laughs, and okay. the other thing is just like, oh, I learned this thing in my house, and I want to like show it off a little, which I don't I don't think that helps the joke. Right. Since yeah. the beatbox thing uh-huh. isn't funny. You can use the Jay Z in any way you want. It might be, it might take a few minutes to think of a better premise than right. the beatbox thing, but I don't even think it would. Like, it just seems like Jay Z can be explaining himself out of any situation okay. with anything. Yeah, your and inner it, monologue is Jay Z for some reason. You've listened right. to so much rap music or whatever. Yeah. So much you could do with that voice, too. Right, exactly. Oh. So, cool. you know, the beatbox, doing it in a beatbox form is like doing it in a knock knock form. Okay. On stage, yeah, it, da- it, just it, it literally bad... does date it a little. Yeah, it makes okay. it feel it makes it feel like '90s stuff because there was just a lot, you know, like Rosie O'Donnell used to do like a beatboxing rap routine thing in her stand up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't want to be the guy who closes yeah. with a rap song. Like, I mean, yeah, like, way more chicks probably would sit on her face after she beatboxed. <laughs> Boom. So. Wait, so I should. Be- <laughs> <laughs> Ground rule double. Well, we're we're saying don't be Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Got you. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the other thing was... Uh, How about that one-liner in the beginning? The one-liner was good. Yeah. Yeah, you liked it? Yeah. I, I mean, it's it weird. In, in a minute, in a minute, you, you did like three very disparate things. So, like, I don't know what the one-liner is going to lead into. It's not like that one-liner about running is going to help you do your Jay-Z impression. Right, but, right, right. But, yeah, you know, it's a funny one-liner. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. The thing with the one-liner is it's like it just exists in an, uh, in its own space, so you can. Right. There's not like oh it's good, so you know put it wherever you want, but it's not it's, unless you're going to build on it, it's just going to you know you're just going to use it occasionally. Do you do any other impressions other than Jay Z? Uh, any? Kinda. I do a Jesse Pinkman yelling. <laughs> then you can make it that 
then you could even have them slide in that way by saying that uh, you, all that you do is, you know, the only things that entertain you anymore are Breaking Bad and Jay-Z. So, mm -hmm. Bobbity ba you know, weigh in if you want to. You know, I mean, there's just ways to go about it that you can a, a utilize those A lot of people use things. their more than one impress. They meld them together. They're right, like, right, wouldn't right, it be right. weird if... Like, I always wonder if this, you know, Jay, if Jay-Z was in an episode of Breaking Bad, it would have been like this. Right. And that's how they And then both things the thing. are funny if they're having a conversation yeah. and it's funny. And also, right, I mean, right. you might be able to get away with, with the beatboxing thing if you're doing 30 minutes or you have more time. Yeah. Because that's one of, like, there's lots of comics that do, they're essentially, you know, stage tricks or whatever as Michael, part of their act. Michael but Winslow. It, yeah. I mean, if you're doing yeah, the five, ten minutes, though, then it's just, it, it really does, like, Right now, most of what I remember is just the beatboxing. Ah, bummer. Um, no, I'm a comedian. Come on. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's part of it. Um, so there you go. Anything else? Why, why was this so short, guys? You, you beatboxed. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what happens. that's what happens when you beatbox. Well, the, um, the, 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 no. the first joke, you know, there's nothing. I mean, if you had a longer prem premise that you can go into it or something like that, that'd be great because the first joke, you know, but by itself, it's kind of weird. Like, there's not really anything I could add to that part. But uh, the Jay Z voice alone, like, like they were saying, it's such a good voice. You just need to find a, a way to just write. There should, instead of it being a beatbox, and there should have been a longer premise yeah. to justify the Jay Z impression. That should have been the whole minute. And for I the, think. the for the red, white, and blue pants thing, I would uh, I wouldn't open by saying I hate running because then you're stepping on your punchline if they don't run. So make it exercise well, I said, uh, or I said jogging. He said jogging. Oh, jogging. Said yeah. running. All right. Well, then I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ryan yeah. actually is uh, from New York City. I, we just Boston. had him on a, our Boston, Boston, and we just had him on a podcast. He's a very successful viner. He's uh, he's almost two million vine vine vine. Wow. You know what? Here's a fun fact. I've never watched one of them. One vine? <laughs> you don't like vine, do you? No. There's, you don't like vine. Canada or vine? Listen. Here's the thing with vine. <laughs> For as long as I have. Uh, had knowledge of film, the worst thing on earth are short films. So why would I want to watch a shorter film? Super short. Do you, do you like film. animated gifs? So. Fuck no. You know, you don't like. But I like the ones that butts. Like butts? Yeah, I like when the butt. I mean, moves. you like porn, right? Sure. There's porn vines where it's just the girl sitting there going, and it just loops and it never ends, and you can just sit there and just. I, yeah, I mean, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't need. I don't need six seconds of anything ever. Yeah. What's really cool is that he takes his uh, his Jay Z voice and uses it in his vines, and it's pretty funny. And that's how oh, awesome. it actually. Uh, yeah. Do, do oh, you, do I you could. Else? I could see how that would work. I like. I'll do. Uh, Jay Z goes to a market. Yeah. See, like in, he in, in that for Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's amazing. See that like work like that should be worked. That there should be way more of that worked into. Right. If you because right. if you're that adept at the voice, it should just be the like. I wonder if this is what Jay Z did yesterday, and then come up with a ridiculous day for Jay Z. Okay. Yeah, that could be yeah. a ten minute bit. Right. Yeah. yeah. Huge. Fortunately, in Boston, and then yeah, and then that's spots. and then that's your closer when everything happens and you're sitting on that and then if people know you from your vines and they come out to see you do stand up you know i mean two millions a lot so They're if that happens then make them make them want it sit on freebird till the last song yeah. and <laughs> turn it into a monster cool cool there Let's, you go i don't know about well, freebird i love how you actually negotiated more time i know it I, worked. I can see how uh <laughs> that's a first oh I'll that's it here. what the fuck you guys aren't making fun of me more fuck this <laughs> Yeah, but follow him on Vine also. It's Rye Dune on uh, Vine and r on Twitter, Rye Dune, R-Y-D-O-O-N. Yep. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Awesome. Ryan Dune. Congrats on the Vine. Yeah, congrats. That's awesome. I was actually the one that uh, showed him, or he learned uh, about Vine through me, and now he's making millions Relax. of dollars. Wow. <laughs> this guy created Vine over here. <laughs> no, I was talking about Actually it. Actually told him about here. the internet. So. I, think, I think he should go with the last comic, and then that way he could be the Driga man. Oh. Wait. Put them together. Very good. Driga. Hey, I know this guy. It's Brad Sachs, everyone. He was on a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Brad. Oh. Ooh. Listen, I never hear. Got engaged last year, guys. Oh. <laughs> I did, I did. And in one year, I've put on 15 pounds. She's fucking killing me. And she's the worst cook, too. I just smoke so much weed to be around her, to put up with her, that I'm putting on weight. 
and I feel bad because she's always like, what do you want? She's so passionate about cooking. She's so bad. You know, ever know anyone like this? What do you want next? I'm like, nothing. I don't want to know. She's like, no, what do you want to say? I'm like, nothing. Not. She's like, no, I'll make it for you. What do you want? I'm like, cereal, bitch. Put it in the bowl. That was okay. That's fine. That's fine. When we moved in together, she just went ahead and stopped shaving the bottom half of her body. Is that anybody? You fucking believe that? Yeah, just let it grow. I called my buddy. I'm like, I moved in with Wolverine. Okay, I'm quitting this tonight. Forget it. I'm done with this. It's over. Um, yes, yeah, my fiance is so uptight also. It's fucking like, I'm like, look, we're engaged now. Can we make a sex tape? She's like, absolutely. Who's going to play you? There's a punchline. Who's going to play you? Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. So what happened from last time you were on stage? With my fiance? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say. No, you got to tell us. Did she hear it? She didn't hear, no. Did somebody tell her? It, no, no one said anything. But did some things change in your life? Did you reflect on it? Oh, I did a lot of reflecting. Yeah, what, yeah. I, I, I don't, I what happened? So what happened the last time he was here, about two, I think, th two weeks ago, uh... <clears throat> we uh, we had him. I mean, he really doesn't. As you could tell by the um, a different minute than two weeks ago that he talked about, he really is unhappy. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he's engaged. He's yeah. not married yet, and he's yeah. been engaged for a year, and he's still putting it off for another year, and he's so unhappy. But he's not jumping out of this thing. Like like you know, like, I mean, getting I, the serial bitch. You know, like this <laughs> is the person that. You can yeah, no, I felt the, I felt genuine hate. Yeah? yeah. No, yeah. it's not. It's not. I, I just, I, I sort of, I play it up for, the, for the performance. Uh, I mean, it's it, there. There are there is stuff about marriage that you know, like I told Tony before. I, I, I don't know. You know. I feel like his wife is at a cooking class complaining about his comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god what did you compare her to the hair wise you said a wolverine, wolverine. Uh, you said wolverine. maybe something like a, what's a centaur or something like what's the half horse yeah mennonite yeah there you go I don't a know. Men mennonite <laughs> no not a mennonite not a mennonite very fine line between a minotaur and a mennonite yeah. <laughs> you said she stopped shaving from what the waist, waist down? down waist down yeah Wow. Which is, you know, sort of true. I mean, when you move in with somebody, shit gets comfortable, you know. Well, if you're with... I haven't experienced yeah, that. Yeah, if you're with somebody who <laughs> is really doesn't want you to have sex with them, then right. uh, totally. that's how it goes. You're right. I think that's her plan. She's like, I got to stop this fucking... I know. I'll yeah. just get gross. Absolutely. That's one way to... Hmm. People that have a... That, that, is, a, that is an interesting a technique. psychological technique because those are people with real loneliness issues that are so afraid to lose somebody but they don't want to break it off but they don't want them to like them that much it, this is and, getting so deep yeah i know no, i've heard of this happening yeah, before i do it all the time you're on dr drew have you heard of it i lived it this one time you're right <laughs> um i do that though i like when i'm in a bad relationship instead of breaking it off i'll just gain you like, stop shaving your weight. legs no i just gain a lot of weight like i'll gain like 40 pounds just to get rid <laughs> just of just to break up yeah. with a girl <laughs> I've wow. done it twice. It's like a Scorsese movie. Yeah. I'm gonna put on 45 pounds. Yeah. What you, what you won't, movie is that? You don't want to break her heart, but you're, you'll damage yours. Yeah. yeah. Easily. You do the anti-machinist. <laughs> right. Yeah. The reverse Dallas Buyers Club. Yeah. <laughs> I've my only. I don't feel like every most stand-up audiences are at least a lot of times half women. I don't know yeah. that they like hearing a guy shit on his future wife quite that much right 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 right, right i mean right, if right. you're doing you know and i For just sure. it you kind of feel like yeah man this, you, you i started to sympathize with her right <laughs> <laughs> i felt myself taking her side because i was like she fucking tries to cook and i'm like look <laughs> this bastard even if she's bad at it she's trying i'm like in my head i'm like what's this guy trying to do at home except make up jokes about her like it didn't I felt like I yeah, found right. myself right. taking her asylum. And once you call her a bitch, yeah, like, yeah, get yeah, me cereal sure. bitch, everyone's yeah, like, yeah. all right. All right, I've had enough of this guy. He yeah. hits her. That's what it makes Yeah, you feel think, bad. like, okay, either he does hit her or he's gonna. <laughs> no, it is no, the no. classic. That is a beater uh, symptom is when you... 
are criticizing the nice things that they do. Like, <laughs> God, I hate your cooking. Bring me a shitty sandwich. Like, no one's ever brought me a sandwich in the world. Why do you mix the whites with the color loads? Yeah, she ruined my favorite shirt. She was doing your fucking Wait, laundry. When you said the whites and the color loads, you were talking about sex, right? Bobby Lee, everybody. Bobby. Oh, Bobby Lee. Yeah. Holy moly. Abity, 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 abity. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I love you too. It really though, it does like like they said, it makes even last time it makes it makes you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, for her. sure. And then when you call her a bitch, like never yeah. like the whole bitch ha women hating thing that a lot of people do when they first start off comedy, like calling women bitches and just going off on them. It's really uncomfortable to listen to. It's like, uncomfortable to listen to and it's not genuine. I don't think you're yeah, that dude. Like if you're gonna go no, no, call I'm her not. a bitch. Of course uh, I'm not. The only way it's going like gonna go off well is if they think you're psychotic. So it's like, it's your issue, not yeah. her issue. Yeah, of course. Of course. But, I mean, and to uh, me, the more interesting angle is you love her, but she's so bad. Like, if she is terrible at cooking, you're like, I love right. her, but I, and I try to eat it, but it's so, like, I, I just, I want, what I want to say yeah. is this, but I don't. But when if you're actually being abusive, you're like, oh, cool, so you're just an abusive man? Right. Sweet. <laughs> no, no, I, I get, I mean, soften it up yourself. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Make it, make make it, it more uh, about you and not yeah, about yeah. being angry at her. Right, right. And I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm really not. Angry. It's it's. I think then, you are. I just then need. I think you really I just are. Need to, no, no. I In just, that I case, need after hearing <laughs> two different minutes of right. you hate your wife material, <laughs> fine. Then you know what? I'll flip my belief just for you, and I'll say, and I'll, I'll listen to you when you say that you don't really hate her. But right. then in that case, I'll say that maybe you should start writing about something else. Right. Yeah. If right. you don't really hate your wife, and you're trying to paint this fake picture it's right. not gonna it's come across because it you're talking about hating your stuff wife. he doesn't really like so it's he yes. hates his wife and he follows that up with it's tough being a black guy in <laughs> right <laughs> right hard up here for a pimp if you're not angry about her then it, you, yeah I, I i'm not it's uh but you have to be <laughs> you have to be you really I got have to so be. real <laughs> I mean, no, you were like a thousand uh, mile stare there, like yeah. It, yeah, it got real just, two weeks ago too. I'm in too deep. Yeah, yeah. I'm in too it deep. It sure did. You guys lived it's together. It's happening and again. It has. I, I, I can, I can even make. Why it. don't we call her right now? Oh wait. On no, 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 no. We're not, we don't. We're That's not a good gonna. idea. Would anybody in this room like that at all? No, 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 no. <laughs> we only text anyway. We're, we're. Oh, now you're text? protective of her. Yeah. Now you want to protect her. Now, now she's not bringing you cereal like a bitch. Now you don't want to bring. What does your wife think of this material? Uh, There's no way she's fucking heard it. She, um, you know what? She, in in a way, she stopped. She kind of stopped coming to see it. <laughs> she probably that is so weird. But <laughs> about the time she stopped shaving, maybe. But yeah. but no no she didn't. <laughs> She, she, she did, stopped she coming. Didn't, she didn't in seem to mind. She, yeah. she minded when, in a weird way when I would would kind of try to take that material and like put it on Twitter or Facebook. Then she minded. But at, when she would come to a show, she would she because afterwards it would. Give, you one know, second. She, one second. You put it on Facebook. <laughs> you're engaged. Absolutely. Does, and her, I'm guessing her family are Facebook friends with you. Well, that was that's why she's like, hey, you know, some of my ki people. <laughs> God. I think People. your joke is so funny. My dad, on the other hand, is going to pay for this fucking wedding. Right. Didn't like to get my cereal bitch aside. <laughs> Nor does he want to know about my vaginal hair. Yeah. He doesn't want to know that I have a pussy like a wolverine. I love how hard you laugh at My the... dad's a little on the conservative side. I know. You're, I don't want to affect your art. No, we're not knocking wolverine pussy, by the way. You no, laugh so hard every time somebody tells you how stupid. I know. I know. <laughs> like, you laugh extremely hard at that, which also leads me to believe that what you think is funny is the dumb shit that you do. Right. So that maybe, is true. Maybe there's Some self, something yeah, in that. That's little... what should be. That's, I mean, uh, one of the best. I went and saw the, a comedian named Brian Regan once, who's one of the greats. He's truly, truly brilliant. And he walked out on stage and he goes, I'm just going through life trying not to look like an idiot. That was the first thing out of his mouth. And it, it summed up his entire act in the first four seconds. And then his act from then on was just you knew what his perspective was. And that's the thing. It's like if you, find, if you do stupid shit all the time and everyone hates it, but you just find it so funny. Yeah. So you keep generating stupidity. That's relatively interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think the crowd would like it more if you talked about what a dick you are for not liking your <laughs> wife's food. Yeah. As opposed to being like that.
cunt. How yeah. dare she? And if she wants to come on and do like three minutes on Kill Tony and become a regular, she yeah. deserves a rebuttal. <laughs> she, she's got an oh, open invite. Definitely... He comes too fast. I bet you she's <laughs> cute and nice and like fucking smart and the food's good. Amazing food. I'm, I'm yeah, betting. I bet you it's so good. You just have a limited palate. Maybe she makes your food taste like shit because you don't fuck her right. Dang. Right. Damn. There you, you go. Dang. You don't get That's snaps like enough. that from the real people. Oh, dang. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> that is true. The <laughs> iron estrogen dispenser. Um, there you go, everybody. Brad Sachs. There he goes. Brad Sachs. Uh, good, luck. good luck to you, Brad. Don't kill your wife tonight. Please don't kill your wife. <laughs> yeah. This, this poor girl. I really would like to hear her side of all this. We should, I, absolutely. I mean, we're Seriously, already. Seriously, ask her if she wants to do two minutes. See if she can cook for about twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> we'll bring her in here, and we'll be the judge. We're already <laughs> on her side. We might as well hear it. <laughs> absolutely. Or if you want me to come over and test her food out when you're out of town, it's I'll let you. Yeah, I'll she, let you know. She can either to. come on and do a minute, or <laughs> she could just make a casserole for the whole. Sounds room. like oh. she can do a minute or less, married to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, maybe that. Always. That could also yeah. be a thing. Maybe maybe you are a premature ejaculator, and she's growing out leg and uh, bush hair all the way to try to get you to not come so fast. That could That's be a. Right. <laughs> it could be an interesting approach. Do you think she wants to be a sack? I don't know. I, that's a rough last name to take over, is she, Sacks. She's not post op, is she? <laughs> no. All right. Brian. <laughs> oh, my God. Brian. <laughs> okay. Th that was uh, Brad Jeez. Sachs. That's Brad Sachs on Twitter, spelled Brad S A C H S. S A C H S. Sash. You know, my last name is Hinchcliffe, and I've been looking at tonight's names like, God, thank God that's not my last name. <laughs> <laughs> it's 11 letters long. Other than Houston. To spell. I mean, that one's right, smooth. Houston was a good one. Yeah. Antonio, we still remember Dude, it. Antonio Houston. That's a good one. Here's a new one. Everett Fanor. Fanor! Everett! Oh, shit. Hi everyone. How are you? <laughs> so the other day I saw a guy snort Oreos on a baby and I was really surprised. So I joined in and I snorted the Oreos with him. Now I'm here. Um, <laughs> today's my first day doing stand up, by the way. If you saw me earlier, nice. I'm the guy that said nigger. And everyone looked at me and was like, fuck. Um, <laughs> I had sex with a homeless lady the other day. Um, <laughs> this lady had a baby inside of her, and um, the baby was jerking me off. And um, I was like, shit, I'll come by later and see if I can help you later. You get it? Come by? Yep. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> um, how come dinosaurs don't have dicks? Prove it. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. No, 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 no. Okay. That's the time. Awesome. Um, Fantastic. Thank you. He's very uh, easily swayed, this one. Um, Everett. Fuck yeah. Your first time ever doing stand up was tonight. Is that true? Downstairs. Your first time? Not bad. First of all, I was expecting like a 75 year old white man with the name Everett. So that shocked me right away. How old are you, Everett? 24. Fuck yeah. 24. 24. Oh, awesome. start. I don't know how to hold the mic. See? No, I mean that, that's the thing. I mean what I what I was watching. I honestly, it felt like when I that was like exactly what I was like when I first started doing stand up. None of it's true, and you're just trying to come up with any funny news. You're like, if I fucked a person and there was a person in there, wouldn't it be weird? So it's all just like it's all conceptual. And it, none of it links together, but like I fucking love watching people do that kind of stand up. Yeah. Like it's just stuff you thought of. Like it's just <laughs> stuff you thought of randomness. Yeah, it was amazing. And in the begin, it's very. I wish, you. I wish I kept better track of all that weird shit I thought of. Like in the very beginning, because you're so desperate to have material that like I wish I could find it again because it's usable shit. But like right now, it's just. You're, you're saying anything that you can think of all the time. Yeah. There's something great about it. If, yeah, and if you're going to open with a line that got some response, like, I fucked a homeless lady, probably the punchline shouldn't be about fucking a pregnant lady. 
Because that's a different type of lady. <laughs> I mean, if you start, I'm like, ooh, a homeless fucker. I like this. But then yeah. they had nothing to do with her being homeless. Right. Other than, you, I guess, it is funny to fuck homeless people. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, great concept. Thanks. Yeah, you had the beginning of one joke, and then you went into a totally different joke. So I fucked a homeless lady. There. You could have gotten, there's so many things, too, if you combine them. Like, I mean, at least that baby has a home. You know what I mean? <laughs> Inside wow. the woman. Yeah. The womb. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, and fuck yeah, you know. <laughs> like she was uh, on her period, but it didn't matter because we just flipped her box or something like that. Like Perfect. whatever she's sleeping on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, maybe don't take that advice. But... Hey, be a gentleman. Get her a new box. What the fuck? <laughs> right. Get her a new box. Is that yeah. Minnesota I hear deep in that town? No, baby, America. Wow. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But yeah, initial in the beginning, you're just trying to think. I, there, it's almost the beginning of stand-up is so interesting because you can literally say anything you want, yeah. and it's so you're like, okay, I can literally say anything. But like, start off, try to make it as personal as possible about your particular life, and then but then don't lose that weird random shit. Because when you find a place in a bit about you for a thing about snorting Oreos off a baby, like, and it makes sense, it's going to be like, holy shit, like, how did you fucking justify that reference? Like, don't lose that sense of oddness. And don't for, like, people who are, know the comedy store and the comics here, when you came up on stage and just started with a high-pitched voice, it's very Barry Diamond of you. Mm -hmm. It just, like, it makes people like, what? Why is he doing a weird voice? Because it obviously isn't the way you talk. Right. So I was about to be real bummed that you were going to talk that way the whole time. I was like, oh, no, he's crazy. Right. Like, I was going to, but then I was like, oh, he was just doing a funny thing. But, like, yeah, don't, I mean, unless it's going to be a thing, don't, don't do it. If it's not going to turn into anything, just, just go up and talk. And because you weren't, for, you weren't super afraid that this was your first time. You felt relatively comfortable. You just went up and talked. And, like, don't, I don't, was uncomfortable. Well, yeah, but you hit it well. I mean, everyone's uncomfortable, but the first few years, you're terrified, but it's how good are you at hiding that terror. Yeah. You, you know? You from L.A.? No. Where are you from? Orlando. How long have you been here? October. Another thing, <laughs> and again, this is all stuff you'll learn, but don't cover the microphone up with your hand, because that muffles it. No, uh, Hold I'm, it. A, I'm a rapper. Part-time. <laughs> oh, my God. So it's like... All right, well, in that case, when you're rapping, they can't understand what you're rapping. <laughs> Hold it below the mic part. Uh, otherwise, you are, you're knocking away at just a lot of, like, where your voice is supposed to be going into the mic. So. And you're covering part of your face where they're going to see the, like, expressions of the joke. Right. Like, your fist is covering this area they want to see, you know. Don't go cover your face. And also, comedians are fucking disgusting, and there's been homeless people that have touched that yeah, mic. Wash, you don't want it touching your mouth. Wash your hand. <laughs> Oh, no. Dude, he just literally ate Boonshock's ass. Oh, God, no. Ever. Jesus. Mugzilla, y you were putting that on your chode earlier, right? Oh, my God. Everett. Oh, Everett. Maybe man. start by licking the mic. That got a good response. <laughs> no, seriously, don't do that anymore. People have to talk on that. The I'm filthy not. people I have seen perform. I up guarantee here. he would have pulled his dick out after if after you said that one thing and I not stopped him after seeing him just lick the mic twice. Yeah, you definitely don't ever want to do that again. It's like everybody talks and everybody spits when they talk. It's just whether we can see it or not in the lights, but it's constant spit. And the last person that used just that a spit catch. Yeah, and the last person that used that was the Ding Dong Show. So there, <laughs> that was probably in somebody's ass. Yeah. It's, <laughs> It's a disturb. You gotta judge well, the, the I'm situation. I'm guessing that Everett eats ass. It's other things that I'm concerned about that could be I on. Do the eat ass? There you go. Hey. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Everett. Uh, you are slightly crazy. Um, Everett, thank you so much. Everett. No Twitter. No Twitter, huh? Oh, all right. MySpace. Uh, you got. You can find him at Tom on where, MySpace. Yeah. Where do, they, where do we find the rap music then? <laughs> We got Josh, alcohol swabbing me. Oh my God! Everett just knocked over their table. Uh, it was Laney and Jerry. Nothing to worry about. Is everybody okay over there? Awesome, fantastic. One more time for Everett Fainer, everybody. Everett Fainer. He just started. Uh, he just started comedy today. I can't tell you that reminded me so much of what, like, exactly what I when I first started. I. I had so many jokes that had nothing to do with me. I had jokes about being an alcoholic. I don't even drink. I right. just anything I thought of 
that a made sense joke structure wise, I would just tell it. Totally. It's so that that period of time is so interesting when you yeah. first start. It's such a fascinating time. I used to be really, 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 really bad at crowd work because I would <laughs> overthink it instead yeah. of just communicating with was it Jimmy Pitt going bad? On. Where are you from? Maybe like once. He never heard of that. <laughs> it was never that bad. Um, okay. It was never just Pittsburgh. That's it, cool. It's so true. Where are you from? St. Louis. I don't speak queer. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it used to be the best. <laughs> um, fuck yeah. Well, uh, this is the part of the show. We we have a special guest here tonight. Who, whenever she's here, she does a uh, a minute. Um, she has done it, I believe this is her fourth time on the show. Very, very funny young lady. Put your hands together for her. It's the one and only Missy Martinez, everyone. Yeah. I suck dicks for a living, and I'm kind of disgusted by this microphone. All right, so whenever I'm not filming, I webcam, and there are so many sick fucking fetishes out there. I'm talking about you, Red Band. He put me through college. There's, there's taboo role play where it's brother, sister, father, daughter. Yeah, and I'm really, really concerned that I'm so fucking good at it. It's, it's wrong how good at it. I am the Philip Seymour Hoffman of incestuous role play. And by, all groaners, aw. And by that I mean I have a heroin addiction too. <laughs> and uh, the fun fetish I'm looking for is the one that's that I'm really good at. It's where you eat a whole tube of cookie dough and you sob in the shower. That's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but speaking of untimely deaths, also, um, my my uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> my uh, my profession. I know how I'm going to die. I know that I'm going to die of rectal trauma at Charlie Sheen's house. So I've I've made peace with that, and I'm okay. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? I like the Philip Seymour Hoffman thing and that whole thing. I think that it was uh, too soon. Was that written before no. or after he died? Uh, it was after, <laughs> like immediately after, because it was going to be Daniel Day Lewis. I think I think since he's alive, it makes more sense. Uh -huh. Because when you say Philip Seymour Hoffman, unless it's a really killer bit about Philip Seymour Hoffman, mm -hmm. all everyone's just going to be like, he died. He died. Okay. <laughs> and like we really liked him. Okay. Ah. You just start going, man, Boogie Nights was good, right? It was. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. And with anything that you're doing at this point, you know, I noticed that like when you said Philip Seymour Hoffman, one or two people sort of groaned. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like a real blatant loud groan and it it was and you got distracted and it took you bit, from yeah. the thing. You go, oh, a groaner? But they're going to groan at that part because the... Yeah, if you're dropping death stuff, to, yeah, you're going to gonna get a groan. Right. And uh, once you, and once to be you fair, say, oh, a you groaner, don't want... it makes it seem you like can, you're you throwing You can make fun of balance. dead people, but, yeah. I mean, it has to be an unlikable dead person. Okay. Or if you're going to get a groan, you want the whole crowd. Yeah. So that you can be... Then you can make it a thing, but, like, pockets isn't enough. Okay. Because then right. some of the people like it, some people don't, and, you're, and then you're going to react to the people that didn't like it. You're splitting the difference. You either want the whole crowd to be like, "Hey," and then you can make it about them, or don't, or or just nothing. Okay. You know. But I found that it did throw me a little bit. Mm hmm I usually ignore most like things like that. I'll just ignore most yeah. most of the time. Yeah. I'm always ignoring if that kind of shit because like you'll have people that chat too much, and there's you know the comics that will attack that immediately and and stuff. I'll just like make it seem like, hey, this doesn't affect me that you're doing yeah, it. Because they it, usually end up just shutting up. If you up. let them know it did affect you, then that person knows if they want to, they can affect you. I'm yeah. enabling Yeah, no yeah. fear. They're like, oh, she stops. No fear me. and no apologies either. <laughs> yeah. If you never. apologize, they're like, weakness. Yep. Yeah. And then they don't care what you say after that. Um, so what else? There was that part, the, the Philip Seymour Hoffman and uh, really like Charlie the, Sheen. The crying the, in the shower with the cookie dough thing. Thank yeah. you. I like that angle. I want to. I want to hear more about the traumas your body will face as like an a like a, a senior adult star. You know what I mean? There you go. Yeah. The senior as in senior right. of yeah. high school, <laughs> not a senior citizen. Yeah. Sloppity. Sloppity. Yeah. yeah. Have you like have you ever had a pink sock? That might be funny. Okay, I'm probably talking about prolapse. A prolapse. Rectum. Everybody rectum, prolapses. Yeah. That's the title of my autobiography. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't write. Also, you're uh, making. <laughs> God damn, that's good. That's a good line. 
That is awesome. That was funny. <laughs> I can't write. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, so you, you're obviously funny. So yeah. Also, just keep I, doing I it. feel okay. like when you started, you made the assumption that everyone knew what you did for a living. That's true. You're like, when I'm filming, and I, th- I like, I, I was like, what? Uh, and then I kind of got. I'm like, oh, that kind of filming. Mm-hmm. But like, you gotta let them know in a certain way without overdoing it. I've seen people. Adult film people, when they do that, they overdo it. They go, I do porn, I do porn, I do porn, and they oversell it. But just let them know. Because when you say, when I'm filming, it's like, what are you a docu- making a documentary? Like, I want to know, like, what exactly I work, do you I work mean? with children. It's, like, a type I, of do- it's a type of documentary. Yeah, it is. It and, is and maybe that's something for, like, these one-minute sets that may, maybe when we announce to you, we could just okay. say adult film star and brand right. new comedian, yeah. Missy Martinez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah. don't have to do it every week. Because yeah. my last three minutes were uh, adult-heavy, so right. I was trying to not, like, just, you know, you know, jerk off a dead horse. No, it's just very. All you have to don't say ever is d- that, stop that. I mean, certainly not for free. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just a simple. But I like the angle of realizing you're good at, a, at something you're disgusted by. Mm. That's interesting too. You're like, I rule at this thing, and it's so gross. <laughs> uh, also, Little Charlie bit. Sheen. Well, it's something I guess people understand. Mm-hmm. It's kind of he's kind of played out at this point. True. He there's got to yeah. There's a there's got to be a new celebrity that's doing. Yeah, go Shia I, I, LaBeouf or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bring LaBeouf Shia, into it. I guess Shia. I was gonna. My original was Rick Ross, but I didn't think a lot of people would understand great tits. that. Yeah. Yeah, he does have great tits. A lot of white people here would have been like, yeah. is that the painter guy? Yeah. Like, no, that's that's his brother Bob. <laughs> yeah. Great Thank afro. You. Thank you so much, Missy. Thank that's you. Missy X Martinez on yeah. Twitter. Always funny. Always fun to have you here. Thank you, Missy. Uh, and our next regular uh, tonight, um, you know her from Kill Tony and from episodes of Dysentery. Ooh. Put your hands together for Sarah Weinshank, everybody. Yeah. Always fun. Always different. Laundry is exhausting. You do a load, then there's more, you know? You can't mix darks with whites. It's a whole to do. What else is it? You know what else is exhausting is trends. Every time I'm in my laundry basket, I see all these trends. I'm like, am I still gonna wear this? Is this still acceptable as an adult? Should I still be wearing leather? How do I wash leather? I have to get this dry clean specifically at a special place. I can't mix all of this stuff together. Then all of these like old mismatched socks fall out of my hamper. You see some neon. Adults should never wear neon. It's like basically telling the world you're under construction. (laughs) We're not gonna lose you, bro. We can see you. Clear as day. What, what, What is neon? Men in neon? Not okay, guys. Don't get dressed up trying to look like a firefly. You're not a tennis ball. I can see you. Not gonna lose you. You're not a kid at summer camp. <laughs> oh my god. You have such a. She has a goofy style like that. That uh, I love it. A lot of uh, a lot of that stuff. You're floating out a lot there. <laughs> for I for your like, examples. Uh. I can tell you're really going down your list of examples of uh, what guys wearing neon look like. That under yeah. construction line though. Yeah, that, that's that great. Was fucking Solid huge. joke. Yeah, totally. I was yeah. concerned. So I'm like laundry. It's it's like one of the hacky. Go to it's like know, weather in L.A., but yeah, yeah. that the joke was great. Yeah, I feel the like punch you just get awesome. to the neon part earlier. I wanted to do neon, but I like didn't want to just go Tell into neon by myself. <laughs> like I wanted to do neon, and I probably had like thirty seconds of neon. So then I was like, well, what the hell can I put with that? I'm just gonna add laundry and trends because the best part of neon is under construction. I think I don't. Yeah, know. it's yeah. Uh, best to get to the good <laughs> stuff quickly. Just and then cut. Try to trim. add on to also, that. Also, your delivery, possible. you get away with going slower than I notice a lot of, the, especially the comics here. You, you get away with, like, you come up and you're like, this happened. And then you pause. And a lot of times people just laugh at your cadence and the way you say stuff. So you don't, I don't feel like you have to rush. You almost get, you get laughs on things that aren't jokes because you have an interesting delivery. Like okay. the way you kind of te- just talk, people tend, I just notice they tend to laugh at. The way you just kind of like blurt all this stuff out, so I don't feel in- aggressive and soft. Yeah, it's like you don't have you don't. I don't think you need, should feel the need to hurry, because you you're just the kind of the odd way you deliver your jokes seems to get laughs. Okay, cool. 
Maybe more about how it's exhausting. Like you set that up, but you never really get through it. You almost, you jump to trends almost immediately. But a basket full of regrets is really interesting, though, just conceptually. You, you mean you look at it like like it does it represent heartbreak or just well, all? It's all mistakes. It's just like I shouldn't be wearing Peter Pan collars anymore. That's yeah. not a thing. Like oh, plaid. Am I, can I? Am I too old for plaid? Like what is that? Yeah. Did you buy that for a guy? Who did you buy that for you? For someone else? Like what? It, what's the real reason for all this stuff? What yeah. does it represent? Did you do you have laundry was- on site? Like, uh, uh, do you have it in your place, or do you? So I ha- yeah, I have laundry on site. Have to have two dollars and fifty cents available in quarters. So you you share it with other apartment. Uh, Paying for regret is a funny concept <laughs> yeah. too. Right. Yeah, and so- yeah, I have to come up with two hundred fifteen coins to wash a mistake. <laughs> cl- yeah, I like you know? that. That's and funny. Uh, and also. Um, Ah, oh, fuck! What was maybe it? some other trends that that were big to until it's you like get to the neon? So Something many silly. wolf tees. The build up. Yeah, and the ex- yeah, wolf tees good. And like that the hangover baby. Like, why did I buy <laughs> hangover baby T-shirt? That's a yeah. great trend. <laughs> That's a great trend. Like, oh god, how many of the like those must be so full? Like, all shouldn't of- have taken that home from Vegas. That shirt. Yeah, yeah just like, oh man, I thought that was so funny for thirty seconds. And also, if you're gonna mention the exhausting part, I would say add something else about. At what Why? point during that whole thing is it? Bo- are you getting lazy? Like, at what point do, do you start to get tired from doing your laundry? Is it when you carry it to the washer? Is it in between that? I, I know I've always hated making that switch <laughs> because the, whatever I always want to do is it takes more than 25 minutes, and I like doing two things at once. So it's always like a fucking out oh, fuck. I have to go move the. But I don't know. But whatever right. you do with it is great. We need to keep it moving. Thank you so much, Sarah Weinshank. Yeah. Every okay. week, a new minute, Sarah guys. Wine. Pretty impressive. Shanks. Building some monsters here. Shank and uh, This is our other veteran and regular. Um, she dropped out of Florida. Used to be a gator. Just about to graduate, but she fell in love with stand-up comedy. She Hell started yeah. right here on Kill Tony. It's the one and only Kimberly Condon. Everybody. Yeah. What's up, guys? Sorry about the wet spot. Down We're there. Not. That was that was Everett, but you know, after that set, I guess he figured that was the only girl he was gonna get wet for a while. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Burn! <laughs> Roasted! <laughs> Um, so I lost a lot of weight last year, which was pretty cool. Um, but there's a lot that goes into dieting, you know, cause now people come up to me and they're like, wow, you look great. And I'm like, really? I feel really bitchy. You know, <laughs> so I'm never eating. It's weird. It's like, cause me and food go together. You know, I just have like a special, like peanut butter and jelly and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, like Asian women and peace signs, you know? <laughs> Like, why do they always do that, you know? They do this in pictures. Uh, is it like, is it like, you know how they hear, they're like, one, two, three, cheese? Over there, they're like, all right, on the count of three, put up the maximum children allowed in your household. <laughs> Fuck do you yeah. think, do you think that Asian women have uh, small boobs because their parents didn't let, ha- let them have B's and C's? Yeah. <laughs> B's and C's. Brawls, to brawl size reference. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. Because they that's had to get it. straight A's. I stumbled that last <laughs> part, but... Well, that's really funny. Wow. <laughs> There's got to be a way to word that so that I understand yeah. it. Well, right that's what it's it. about. Yeah. Write your jokes for Tony. Yeah, aim at one person. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, if I miss it, that's pretty fucking weird. But, yeah, no, I guess I get it. Because I, I was thinking, <laughs> don't backtrack. You did not get it. I was and thinking, a lot of people did. No, I get it now, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I thought I thought she didn't get into a microphone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a like a. I think English you should joke. do the pose when you, the first time you say it. Yeah. So they know immediately what you're doing. It's because it is that like classic like they always go like that like do it and so they know you what. You know it's weird. I wanted to and then I get like I still get like shaky on stage. Yes. Yeah. So I'm nervous to even put my hand up because I'm like oh everyone's gonna see me shaking. Yeah, totally. You know? Then you have so to be then, doing more open mic spots throughout the week to where yeah. it's honestly just I mean you have to just play. I mean, numb. think about. Comedians that do lots of physical stuff, there's a first time they try every bit that's physical, and it must be terrifying. Mm-hmm. But the payoff of finding a joke that works with words and selling it is they're, they're way more effective than just a words joke. Yeah, so, But you, there is that first time. You know, like when Delia's on his head, there was that first time he had to get upside down. It must have been like, all right, now comes the time where I have to stand on my fucking head, hope it goes well. Yeah. Like you just have to do that thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would, I'd like to hear more about 
if you're if you, I mean I and I like where you're at with that dieting thing because it is true that's something that I, I don't hear a lot of people talking about is getting is how angry that would probably make someone not yeah. eating food mm-hmm. and maybe some comparisons yes. of how good you'd feel on this or that like you talk about the peanut butter and jelly but you don't really relay it to uh, the how unhappy you are like uh, but isn't that like really you, hacky to talk about you, diets well what I mean, it, seems like every, it seems like every girl uh, female comic probably has a diet they, though. because it, every it, female's been on a diet it's right. prevalent but it life. also is never ending like they're, they're, it's never going to conquer it's never going to be conquered it's like talking about drinking to me i mean it's just about the angle if you find an angle on it it is a super well tread upon thing, but so is dating. But everyone yeah. seems to I wanted, about it. you know, how I talk about how uh, not eating makes you angry. I wanted to say that that's like what breeds feminists. It's <laughs> f- like feminists are just women that dieted too hard. See, there you go. That's pretty. Yeah, good. definitely. Right. You should, Absolutely. Maybe that's... you scream out snacks during sex now because you're so <laughs> yeah. deprived of them. You're right. Like, yeah. Peanut butter cups, bitch. <laughs> like, like, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Or maybe you have him. <laughs> or like, maybe you have you him want? whisper those things into your ears. So what do you, you want, whisper. baby? And you're like caramel corn. I mean your dick. <laughs> I mean your dick. <laughs> Hilarious. I meant your dick, but I mean caramel. That's there right. she goes, everybody. Thank it's Kimberly you. Congdon. Kimberly She's Congdon. on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon. We are going to La Jolla this weekend. We're taking the whole crew with us. Uh, those two girls as well. Josh Martin's going to be there. Missy's and uh, we're all going there. to Comic-Con. Missy's going to be there live from the La Jolla Comedy Store Saturday. Maybe. APM, uh, maybe. Okay. Maybe. All right. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, catch She's the- out. It's a two-hour drive. Go. I don't know. Thank you guys so much. So I, I, yeah. You guys are awesome at this. Thank you. It's a fucking well-oiled machine, the three of us. We're full of hate. We're full of hate. <laughs> uh, you're at Rick Ingram on Twitter. Always fucking funny. Yep. Very angry. Yeah, which is great. It's good that you, you keep it real out there. Kevin yeah, Christie as well. Is it Kevin G. Christie? At Kevin G. Christie. Right. Christie, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y. Yeah. Courtney Molay, believe it or not, yeah. was the she woman was behind... The Iron Hot Chick, the Lady Patriot, boom, boom, boom. That's Courtney Molay on Twitter, She's correct? more than Margaret Thatcher. Hey, Margaret Molay. Margaret Molay. You changed so Margaret it. Thatcher Changes are reference. happening. You know, like, it's me, Margaret. Please follow her on Twitter, everybody. That's Margaret Molay, M-O-L-L-E. I'm Tony Hinchcliffe. I'm Brian Redband. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, audience. Thank you, comedians. <laughs>